Hi there and welcome to Philippa and Healing. I love block therapy, as many of you know, and if you don't know what that is, it is a method to work with uh, healing fascia and scar tissue. And um, Diana here is an amazing uh, woman and uh, teacher, and she is the founder of block therapy. So I wanted to share her practice with you. And she's gonna guide you through some exercises based on block therapy. And she will always start with the belly position uh, to release any scar tissue and adhesions uh, in the fascia in the belly. Also, you know, it's gonna give great circulation to your intestines, uh, relieving constipation if you're experiencing that. And so, so many benefits with the belly position. And then she's gonna guide you through into the more bony parts of the pelvis and the pelvic floor. So I really hope that you enjoy uh, this um, this exercise together with Diana. And uh, please let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Now, just a little word of warning. What you'll likely experience as you go through this process is increased bleeding. It may be during your cycle, it may be between, you may have some spotting because what's gonna ultimately happen is whatever's accumulated in the area, the body's gonna start to release it and let it go. So that's just something to be expected. So we've, in this last class, we've done the breath and the lower ribs to lift that rib cage up. But now we're gonna dive into the pelvis in this area so we can continue to add compression to add heat and then the body is naturally going to do what it needs to do so i'm going to use this towel here again in block therapy we actually use a block we've got two different sizes you can also use a hardcover book depending on the size and the shape of you and what books you have but i'm going to roll this up nice and tight and we did the belly position before. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring it a little lower. So it's going to be above the pubic bone, but on that lower belly. So I'm just going to place that there and I'm just going to bring my lower body onto this and I'm just going to drape myself right over. Now, as always, the rule of thumb is your breath is your guide. If this is too intense and too painful for you, we don't want to be doing that. So you might even just want to be breathing into the floor or doing this on a bed. But let's see if we can start in this way. And as we go, your body gets used to the pressure, used to the sensation, and then you likely can start to go a little deeper here. So all we're going to do is we are going to start to engage that diaphragmatic breath like we did the last time, but we're going to try to bring it from the lower belly. So this can be a little frustrating because if we haven't been activating this area for a long time, it's basically out of use. So now we want to train and engage this muscle to work. So let's just lie down nice and flat, close your eyes, and as you inhale, just get a sense that the lower belly is moving into the towel. Let's just take two more breaths here. And now let's have you come back up onto your elbows. And I'm going to have you do what's called rooting. We're actually going to talk quite a bit about rooting in the next class when we talk about proper foundation. But for the purpose of lying here, what I want you to do is squeeze the anus. So what's going to happen when you do that is the pubic bone is going to move a little bit more toward the floor. So connect that action. See if you can not just engage the glutes, but also it's going to sound a little rude, but if I was poking you right there, in the anus, that contraction. It's different than a Kegel. 
The Kegels are more in the front of the perineum. We want to address more the back of the perineum. So engage that action. Feel your pubic bone moving toward the floor. And let's stay connected here as we continue to focus on inhaling into the towel. Let's take three more breaths this way. Now let's try to go a little bit more deeply here. So what we're going to do is place our hands on the floor. And all we're going to do is just slightly lift up. Some might be able to lift up quite a bit, some just slightly. You might even just want to take your hands a little further away and just lift up. Whatever feels right for you, we just want to add a little more pressure into this lower belly. Connect to that root again. Move that pubic bone toward the floor. And then let's take some nice full inhalations. Inhaling into the towel. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, you can just bring the elbows down. And then just place your hands under your shoulders and let's just exhale up. And now we're just going to change the alignment of the towel so we can get a little more deep into that area. So if we have the towel this way, ultimately we're going to be laying it here. So we want to have the towel narrow enough that these two bones, these are called the ASIS bones, we want the towel in between those two bones. And we're gonna be adding more pressure this way. So you can adjust the towel to whatever width you need to support that for you. And then again, let's just bring that so it's just above the pubic bone. And then we're gonna lie on it this way. And you're gonna feel a lot more compression just from being here. So let's just stay up on the elbows. And again, we're going to engage that full inhalation to begin, just to make sure that we're training the breath to come from that lower abdominal area. And then let's connect to that rooting action, that squeezing of the anus. That's going to push the pubic bone down toward the floor, giving us a little more compression in this area. And again, connect to that full inhalation from that space. And this is a journey. So if you don't feel like you're engaging those lower abdominal muscles with that inhalation, that will come in time, but use that as your intention. And you may notice some interesting sensations coming to the surface, even referred pain. You might feel some referred pain up around the shoulders or even down the legs. 
Just become the observer. And as always, your breath is your guide. As long as you're breathing in a relaxed way, you will be feeding and healing your cells. If something hurts so much, it takes that relaxed breath away, then we need to do this less intensely. But if you're ready to dive in a little more intensely now, we're going to take our hands and we're just going to slightly come up, connect to that root. So we're really actively moving that lower belly area into the towel. Connect to the breath. And really make use of that full exhalation, allowing the towel to sink as deeply into the space as possible. Stay connected to that root. If we've lost it, let's trigger it back. Moving that pubic bone toward the floor. We'll take three more breaths here. And just bring those elbows back down. And we'll just take three more breaths. Just feeling what it's like to have the pressure of the towel pushing into the core. Heating everything up in combination with that diaphragmatic breathing. And when you're ready, hands under your shoulders and exhale up. So just take notice of how you feel. Even put your hand down here and just see if you can feel some warmth, even feel some softness happening. That's the goal because whatever's going on in here, there's going to be a lot of tension and a lot of density. So we want to soften that. And as everything starts to break up, the body will naturally start eliminating things. Now we're gonna take a book for this one. If it's too painful to be on the book, you can put a towel over top of the book. But let's see if you can first handle the pubic bone right on the book here. So similar, we're gonna be lying on our belly and you want that pubic bone to be right on the book. Now, the pubic bone, the pubic symphysis is the joint in the middle of these two bones and they're connected to that SI joint in the back of the body. So we wanna feel as though both sides of the pubic bone are flush. If you can sense that one side is pushing in with greater pressure, it's because of how the pelvis rotates and gets hung up out of alignment. So just do a little bit of a toggle left to right here. And if you feel that one side is higher, and for me, I feel like my right side is higher, let's just lean over to that one side slightly. And let's engage that root, squeezing the anus, that action, pushing the pubic bone into the book. And we're going to hold here for five full slow breaths. Of course, the breath is coming from the belly using that diaphragm.
and release that root just for a moment. And just again, do a little left to right. Notice how you feel. If you still feel that that one side is lifted higher, again, just go over to that side again. Let's connect to that root. So actively feel your pubic bone is getting pushed into the book. And then from here, if it makes sense for you, let's come onto the hands. Let's just come up. We're going to add a little bit more pressure. And to go even one step further, let's come up onto the toes and extend the legs. So you're lifting the legs up off the floor and we are getting nice and deep in through here to really lengthen this space. We get things like cysts and fibroids when we have compression and when we've lost the length. So we're going to lengthen this space so that we can ask anything that's not serving the body to leave. And again, remember we talked about spotting, additional bleeding. Those are all things to be expected as the body is cleaning itself out. If your shoulders are getting tired, you can always just bring those arms back down. Certainly doesn't take away the intensity of pain. And remember, we're pain seekers. We're looking for that pain. Pain equals adhesion. Adhesion blocks blood and oxygen flow and makes areas toxic. So again, if we have things growing inside of us, it's because we don't have a fully clean system. So we want to get rid of all the things blocking flow so the body just has a free flow of blood and oxygen to all of the cells. We're going to take three more breaths here. And when you're ready, you can just release those legs. Bring that rib cage back down to the floor, hands under the shoulders, and slowly exhale up and off the book. So that should feel quite illuminating, very nice in this area. We're going to do one more. This is going to be an interesting one. Normally, I would be using my tool, the block buddy, this way. So I'm going to do a makeshift one, and we're going to use the book and a towel. So we're just going to, and again, you're going to need a fairly thick book for this. We're just going to take the towel, and I'm going to sit on this like a bicycle seat. I call it the bicycle seat position, or the perineum position. And... You can just make sure that you feel nice and stable there. And of course, you're going to have a little bit of movement here, but we're literally just going to settle in here so that we can allow this to move into the perineum because we want to create softness in there. There's adhesions there as well that have locked the pelvis out of alignment. And that's stopping the ability for the body to release all of the negative stuff that happens to us. And I mean, we're breathing negative stuff. We're eating food with toxins, drinking water even negative relationships, anything that enters the body, we want to release it so it doesn't stay and stick on our fascia. So simply allowing ourselves to settle in here, to sink in. And if we lean forward a little bit, you're going to feel a very different sensation as you're, as, as you're connecting to different parts of the perineum. You can even bring your hands down to the floor. Now, this is a really good opportunity, actually, to connect to the root and to learn the difference between the Kegels. Because when we're leaning forward, if we connect and, and contract the perineum, you're working more the front, those Kegels in the front. If we sit back and we do more that squeezing of the anus action, now we're actually rooting. This is the back part of the perineum. And this is what we want to be connecting to. Because most people, their pelvis has rotated forward. So we need to bring the pelvis back into alignment so everything can flow out of us properly. Even something like endometriosis. It will happen because with our cycles, if we're not releasing fully, 
the lining with every period, then that lining starts to build up and it becomes this old tissue that shouldn't still be in there that keeps accumulating. And that's ultimately what creates endometriosis. So if that's something that you have as well, all of this work is going to help the body flush it out. And with that will come increased bleeding, potentially spotting between your cycle, all of those things. So these are just things to be expected as the body is doing what it needs to do to become cleaner. And you can just, you know, very nice and slowly rock forward and backward as you feel the book getting a little bit deeper in through there. Even things like, you know, pain, painful sexual intercourse, it's because of adhesion. If there's blockages causing the channels and the passageways to get tighter and drier and colder and harder, that's going to take away from the pleasure and the joy of intimacy. So anything in this area is really negatively impacted by these adhesions. So as we connect to the pain, we're finding those adhesions. Over time with pressure, we're melting them. And with that full exhalation, we are moving them out of the body. So by doing this cycle of work, you're going to continue to create space in here to clean out negativity and to breathe oxygen so that the cells can become nice and plump and full and healthy. So you can do this every single day if that makes sense for you, whatever you need to do. And of course, you always want to reach out to me in my block therapy community group. We'll have a, um, a link for you so that you can join in there and you can ask questions of my community at any time. But let's just take three more breaths here. Notice how nice it feels as you let those pressure fibers kick in. You can even sit on this on a chair if you just even have the towel rolled up and you're sitting on a chair in front of your computer. You can just have the towel in here. And as long as you're feeling pressure, um, you're going to be melting those adhesions. So there's lots of ways you can even just bring this into your daily work as well. But we're going to exhale out. And there we go. So I will share with you in the next class how we can now own the space that we've created so that we can bring balance and symmetry into the body and support ourselves. Mm -hmm.